Climate change is here. We're seeing increased severity of storms and we're seeing a greater frequency of these storms. No better illustration of this is the storms that we've seen around the world in the last couple of months. It all has a big impact on businesses and their profitability. Working in the loss control function of the insurance sector for the last 25 years, I have seen an increase in the number of flood events that we've been experiencing. This is something we pay a lot more attention to when we're talking to and advising our clients. There's no reason to expect the trend to be reversed and locations that we wouldn't previously have thought were exposed, we are seeing those locations being affected. Businesses really do need to prepare and put themselves in the best position so that if an event does occur, they recover from it quickly. Any type of event, whether it be fire or flood, can have a significant impact on the business and its profitability. We can't control the weather, but what we can do is understand the potential for it to damage a business. So first thing any business should know is whether their premises is at risk. There's lots of useful information that's available on the Environment Agency website, and one of the things that businesses can do is register for early warnings. If there's going to be a flood event, it's good to get a warning that it's coming so they can implement their emergency procedures. It's also useful to know how deep that flood water might get. If they've got electrical installations, for example, that are installed below that level, it would be sensible to raise them up. Also, businesses often have a key piece of equipment or an asset that their business is dependent on. If that's exposed to flood water, that has a dramatic effect on the business. So can they do anything specific to protect that piece of equipment? Can they put barriers around it? Can they move it permanently to an upper floor? There are a number of steps that businesses can take to achieve quick wins. Good general property maintenance is important. Unblocking gutters, unblocking drains means that during a heavy rainfall event, it will stop the waters from backing up into the property. Electrical installations, servers, IT equipment and telecoms, particularly susceptible to water damage. So you really shouldn't be keeping those in the basement. They don't take up a lot of floor space. If you can put them on a higher level, that's a good thing to do. Knowing there's a potential for flooding, businesses should plan both what they're going to do before an event, during event and after an event. The flood plan should form part of the business continuity plan. There's lots of advice available on the Environment Agency website and this will include examples of what businesses can include within that flood plan. The better they plan, the better they recover. Mm -hmm.